reference point, 230, and a 30 degree about wide angle. Three miles. I show myself 13. Target 35 miles in closing. We have your angle. We have visual now. He's coming through the cloud. He looks to be three miles. This is huge. Requesting immediate identification. That was the scene in California's Mojave Desert five years ago today. The historic first view of the newcomer ship upon its dramatic arrival. Their ship was a slave ship carrying 250,000 beings bred to adapt and labor in almost any environment. But they've washed ashore on Earth with no way to get back to where they came from. Civil liberties attorneys successfully lobbied for the newcomers' release from quarantine, and in the last five years, the newcomers have become the latest addition to the population of Los Angeles. So you can't find a decent place to crash anymore. <laughs> Damn, I hate them slags. You believe it? They're trying to give them the right to vote. <laughs> Shoot, they can't even get drunk right. <laughs> Whoever heard of getting lowered with that sour milk, Gavin? You can have some good squeeze. <laughs> Sound too good, Link. You want a taste? No, no, no. Why, why don't you keep it, huh? What happened to you, Link? What's that slime? Hey, look, you know, there's a free clinic over on third, you know? We, we can go over there and spend the night. Mr. Lincoln? been looking for you all night long. We were worried about you at the mission. You missed several meals, and we were wondering. Ah, 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 ah. Mr. Lincoln. over there. Oh, Susan Francisco, hi. A little uh, welcome to the neighborhood gift. Oh, they're beautiful. Thank you. That's really nice of you. Mom, I don't feel good. Emily, why are you? It's 
probably just nerves, honey. This is Emily with Miss Cooper. Diane. Hi, Emily. Hi. Wow, you sure look like your mom. Oh, well, I mean, you know. No, that's yes. right. Oh, that goes in the kitchen. Yes, just a sec. Just look, I know you're busy. My phone number's on the card there if I can help. That could be dangerous, you know. I just might call. Do. Joseph! Excuse me. This one's marked. Where'd you put my keys? On the box. Look at this plant a woman from across the street brought. Mom, it really does hurt. On the box. And Emily, it's helpful. It's because it's your first day in a new school. Which box? It'll be okay. Why don't you have a little bit more breakfast, okay? okay. <sighs> Some detective. Are you giving me a hard time? Yes, actually. You get to go off and play cops and robbers while I... Have the pleasure of moving into our new house. Where did this plant come from? Oh, God help the police department. I just told you. Any signs of life from that son of ours? Buck! Off and on! Megan Nemoc. But to let them finix on Tom Berdant Montert. English, please, Buck. This is so awful. After all, your father and I paid for this house and all we put into it. What's wrong? Our property's not going to be worth half what we paid for it. Why? Why do you think, Jill? I can't believe you've been gone a month already, Tex. Really miss you, man. At least I nailed the slag who got you, huh? <laughs> Big deal, huh? Now they got me working with the slag. Can you believe it? Uh, morning, Matthew. Hey. What's this? Bread muffin. A little prune juice. Wait, you mentioned yesterday. That... What are you, an optologist? <laughs> Here, look. Why don't you just be a good little slag and mind your own business, okay? Oh, and Matthew, if I could suggest, I really don't care how you refer to me privately, but when we're questioning the other newcomers. What? Well, what? the word slag equates to such words as kike or nigger or gook or wop. And, well, I think you could catch more honey with a pound of vinegar than a pound of flies. Never mind. Oh, incidentally, I think it's proctologist. Whatever. Disappearances are no good, no photos. My editor needs something hot, visual. Yeah, like your last photo essay, The Fish Women of Long Beach. Sold a lot of papers. Hey, yo, Lightning, can you dump my circular file for me? Sure. Uh, trash can, Albert. My trash can. Oh, Got it? Sure, sir. Nice. But all you guys are supposed to be whiz kids. But all you guys had rhythm. Good going, Albert. I'm sorry. I, I... I don't believe you. I... Look at it. Look at it! My kid had that made for me. Disappearances in Slagtown. Check this out. Some of these names kill me. Mort Dakota, <laughs> Eleanor Roosevelt. Yeah, I guess those guys in quarantine got pretty punchy giving those names out to all those slag newcomers. Disappearances? Well, those guys are always knocking each other off down there. I say let them. Yeah. Oh, some bum took a three story dive on Alameda. Pretty grisly. Grizzly? Are you a grizzly? Oh, geez, look at those sores. And that slime. Yeah, bag him. What are you thinking? Oh, I would have jumped too if I had all those zits. Suicide. Come on, let's get a donut. Too late, Burns. He's in the bag. Hey, come on. I got to get some photos. What am I going to tell my editor? Beats the hell out of me. Why don't you tell him to wrap fish in his paper? That's all it's worth. I hate that guy and the rag he works for. Should have seen the garbage he wrote about Tugs when he got killed. Made him sound like a jerk. Or... What's the matter? That is a worried look. Sometimes it's hard to tell. I just want to follow up on that vagrant's autopsy. Whatever turns you on. All units in the vicinity of Roosevelt Elementary, we have a major disturbance reported. Can we go there? 
What? Come on, George. I really want a donut. I'll buy you a piece of spleen or something. It's my daughter's school. This little one right here. Just because she's an American citizen, that doesn't make her a human being, does it? So what if she's a little brighter than some of our kids? We can beat that out of her. Discourage her enough, she'll give up. So what if she might have come up with a cure for cancer someday? She's not civilized like us. So why don't we just put a gun to her head and end it all right here, huh? Come on. Come on, pull the trigger. Come on, take it! Come on! How about you, Ms. Pierce? I know you want to come pull the trigger. Get on over here! Come on down! What, I have to do it myself? Okay. No, we don't want her dead. We just want her back where she belongs. She belongs here. Aren't you ashamed of yourselves? Huh? Aren't you? Anybody gives this little one any trouble answers to me, got it? Yeah, I do. You okay? Good girl. I'll go in there and show them your stuff. still here in three minutes will be under arrest for the violation of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. I'm starting my watch now. of a vagrant who'd hung himself into the morgue where I work. 
No, a human. Sores all over him, and they look like... Yes. Not yet. The autopsy's not scheduled till tomorrow. That's exactly what worries me, too. It could be big trouble. Very big trouble. Okay. We were both proud of you, honey. I'm not saying I wasn't proud of you. It's just a lot of strain for you to be under. Was it, Amy? They stared at me, but I figured they would like to say See what I mean? Oh, it's her first day. Susie, you have to give it a little time. You think you could do that, Em? Yeah. I like the school. You do? Yeah, it's nicer than the one I went to before. It's got bigger windows and more light, not like those trailers. And there's a computer right in the room. Miss Murdoch taught me how to write my name on it. Oh, you like that. Yeah, it's really cool. Is this your homework? Uh, yeah, just math. It's easy. Why don't you help her with it while I make dinner? I don't need to help, Mama. Buck. How was it at your school, Buck? Phoenixa, hey, Pod. I want you to use your English name now. He talks super. Please use it. How was your school? It was okay. That's it. Just a little. That's it. Little more to the left. Okay. Right. Come on. Come on. That's that's good. All right. And just a little bit to the left. Hi. I'm. It's fine over here. Wonderful. Why? Why, Billy? Excuse me, Matthew Sykes. Yeah. A woman dropped this off. Asked me to give it to you. Thanks. Nice meeting you, too. Yeah. Matt, it's uh, Liddy. Did you get it? Hi, you lid. Yeah, I got it. What is it? I'm not sure. I found it buried in Tugs' stuff. Uh, there was a note that said to give it to you if anything. Hey, hey, hey. I, uh, I saw the flowers you left him. How you doing? Well, you know. Yeah, I do. Well, listen, I'll go through this stuff and let you know what it is, huh? Okay, Matt. Yeah? When I came back from dropping that package off to you, I thought someone had been in the house. Why? What do you mean? I don't know. Uh, nothing was taken. Nothing was out of place. It was just, uh... A uh, feeling, instinct. Well, listen, keep the door locked, huh? And uh, call me whenever you need to, okay? Thanks, Matt. Why is this so important? What are you trying to tell me, Tugs? Hey, Matt. I heard what you did at the school yesterday for George's kid. Tugs would have been proud of you. Tugs would have beat me to it. <laughs> he might have. You're not the only one who misses him, you know. Hey, Puente. Maria. Santa need a day. Yeah, 50 on happy face to win in the second. You got it. Morning, Matthews. Mm. That was the morn. That body of the vagrant we brought in? Yeah. Disappeared last night. I want to thank you again for how you helped Emily. Just doing my job, man. It seemed like more than that. It seemed like someone who really identified with her. Somebody who knew what it was like to be an underdog. Mm, these elevators are so small. 
I knew a man once who was discriminated against when he was young because he was small for his age. Made him different from the others. They always picked on him, chose him last for teams. What? Uh, nothing. Susan and I sincerely appreciate it. Did you get her message? She'd really like to have you come over tonight. Yeah, maybe. Oh, and Matt. Matt. Happy face. Stuck on the outside going the mile. She doesn't have the speed to get position for the first turn. Now, but miracle worker. Now, that's of course. <laughs> you're from another damn galaxy and you're telling me how to play the ponies. <laughs> Hey, Howard. So I uh, heard you got stuck with one of them, too, huh? Yeah, great, isn't it? I mean, how am I supposed to take anybody seriously with a name like uh, Amos N. Andy? Oh, boy. Gonzo, who'd want to steal that body? It beats the hell out of me. I was going to do the autopsy this morning. I wanted to take a look at those sores. They are uh, pretty delicious. Who else has access to this place? <laughs> It's not exactly Fort Knox around here. Still carrying the body out would have attracted some attention. Mm. I can see why they made you a detective. Hey, Lightning. Got some questions for you. What was your real name again? Lenza Mantuia. It means the English name they gave you in quarantine. Oh, Albert. Einstein. Perfect. You in the morgue last night? Uh, no. Come on, don't give me that now. Who took the body? What body? Albert, I haven't even had my coffee yet. I get real irritable. You know damn well what body. Now, who took it? I, I didn't know any body was... Don't! Keep... You, uh... More on sure. Put away Bangano Fratico, I do follow. But if you know something, it's very important that you tell me. He told me he had a right to see it. Now, I remember from the Constitution. He did. He didn't say anything about taking the body. He just, he wanted me to leave the door unlocked so that he could t take pictures of it. He who would? Who, Albert? The reporter, Mr. Burns. Oh, that slime ball. I, I'm, I'm in tr trouble, huh? I'll do what I can. But the next time you're not completely sure how to handle something, you come and you ask me first. All right? Sh sure, George. Hi. Hi. We're going to play catch. You want to play? Sure. You ought to stick to your own side of town, Spongehead. <laughs> Just let it dry a little, then rub your hands together. It'll come right off. Miracle Worker took it, Sykes. Miracle Worker won? By how much? Two lengths over happy face. Fifty bucks, brother man. Yeah, yeah. Unit seven clear. You, uh, picked many winners? Only about five out of seven yesterday. Five out of s Where'd you learn? Well, looking through some of your old racing newspapers. It's, it's really quite fascinating, all of the variables, the, the horse's history, the running oh, style, man. which track is a slow track. Oh, man, I don't get it. You know, here you are, bred to be slaves, and most of you got minds like... Well, many of the slaves were required to do highly technical tasks in our culture. We weren't all yeah. miners or... Yeah, yeah, okay. Just... Who do you like in the sixth? Oh, morning sunshine. <laughs> morning sunshine? Give me a break. She's been falling off every... What are you doing? This isn't Burns apartment. Matt? What is this place? Beats the hell out of me. Something to do with a vagrant's body? No. Oh, you just have a fondness for old buildings? A fondness for being a horse's ass? I hate to pry, but if you could just tell me what it is you're trying to... You want to pry something, pry that. Do we have a search warrant? Yeah, I got your search warrant. Oh, all right then.
What? It's very curious. What is? Nothing. Tell me what is curious. Tell me what we're doing here. My partner Tugs left me this file box full of stuff. I started going through it last night. Most of it seems to be research he was doing on slavery. He was black, you know. Yes? Anyway, stuck in the side was this piece of paper with this address on it. Well, it looks like whatever was important is gone, so... Well, this is Puente's beat. I'll check with her. Okay. So now tell me what you thought was so curious. Well, when I first came in here, there was a faint smell. It reminded me of something. What? The atmosphere aboard our spacecraft. All right, let's get back to work. I'm telling you, I wasn't in the morgue last night. Albert says you were. Shit, well, he's not exactly a rocket scientist, is he? And we found your fingerprints on the slab. What are you talking about? I never touched it, man. I just... Took some pictures. It was one of the ugliest corpses I've ever seen, man. It was beautiful. So you took it? Well, get serious. I got cold cocked. You got cold what? He was clubbed from behind. By who? I don't know. I'm talking to some Mexican guy wearing a laundry jacket. Where he come in the back. Right here, see? And you didn't see who nailed you? No. And you didn't report it because you weren't supposed to be there anyway. All right, come on, George, let's go. Oh, and Burns, you even think about skipping out, I'll find you a permanent place in the morgue. Of course, uh, it'd be an improvement. So one of your trucks was making a delivery last night. Yeah, police station's on the schedule. Is something wrong? We think they might have picked up something they shouldn't have by mistake. Can you tell us who the driver is? The winner was Morning Sunshine, paying 1630 What, you have some money down? Guess I should have. Anyway, where are the guys that made the pickup? Neither one came in today. We'll need their addresses. Uh, where is the truck? So we we come to dinner tonight. Ah, uh, thanks, you know, but I'm not really into raw beaver and stuff oh, like that. No, <laughs> Susan wouldn't fix anything you find offensive. We would really like to express our thanks and to get to know you better. Well, I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> so, George, uh, how about football? Oh, that's the game with a little pointy ball. Right, a little pointy ball. Are you yanking my chain? Don't know the meaning of that phrase. Yeah. So, uh, how do you do it, picking football winners? Only about 82%. What? Hand me a card. You're kidding. 82%? Yes, the body was in this truck. Some of the slime that was on it. Don't touch it. So, uh, George, who do you like for the Rams-Cowboys game? Well, I'd have to do a little research. Of course, I could tell you over dinner. Ah, you can tell me tomorrow. Ah, but the game is tonight. my grip. Don't move. Tell me you're a cop. Excuse me, is, uh, something wrong? Are you gonna be really upset with me when I drop all of this on the floor? Can I put the rest of this in... Just a second. Are all cops this careful when they come home? A booby trap. Just to let me know if someone's been here. 
You expecting someone special, or do you always go? I'll just put this in the kitchen. Yeah. You have a vase? No. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking those to somebody tonight. Lucky girl. Married girl. Even luckier to still get flowers. Is that your daughter? Yeah. Then you're lucky, too. I'm Kathy Frankel. Huh? Oh. 204. Matt Sykes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. In your language, Sykes means excrement and cranium. <laughs> well, it could be worse. This is terrific. Did you build this? I'm building it for about a year. It's beautiful. Is that semaphore facing the right way? I'm still working on it. What are you, an engineer? A biochemist. That's nice. Look, uh, thanks again for your help, huh? Sure. Sure. Do you think anybody was here? He would have been a real professional. Do you smoke cigars? No, what do you... Then somebody was here. Oh, yeah, your seasoned professional always puffs away on a cigar when he searches an apartment. Smokers get it in their clothes. They don't even realize it. And you can smell it even after they're gone. Yep. Not much hair, but I got a great nose. Listen, um, next time your, uh, bag's ripping, <laughs> give me a yell. Watching for you. Well, then you're a good cop. <laughs> One in the family's enough. <laughs> Come on in, Mr. Sons. Matt, Matt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Emily, why don't you put these in some water? Um, thank you for yesterday, what you did for Emily. <sighs> How's it going for her? Not great, but at least you got her in the door. No big deal. Yes, it was. Look, uh, I don't want you to go to any trouble for dinner. Why don't I... It's no trouble at all, really. George is out back right now, killing the beaver. It's a joke. Oh. I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> uh, you really do eat stuff like that, though. What, your bodies don't process cooked food? Right. Any luck on the delivery, man? Uh, no one home at the address I took. What about yours? Uh, the bus terminal. Swell. Oh, I thought you might want to know who owned that abandoned plant we stopped at. Fletcher Industries. Mean something? Yeah, Jacob Fletcher's this low-life mafia type we've been trying to nail for years. You you guys want to put your guns on? Oh, sorry, no more shop talk. <laughs> How about football? George, let's talk. Isn't that amazing? Uh, Did you make your call? Yeah, Cowboys minus three points? It's just an educated guess. Well, I do like your guesses. Oh, that's nice. Do you really like it? Yeah, it reminds me of that French guy's work. Rodin? Yeah. What'd I tell you, Seuss? Seuss made it. No kidding. That's great work. Thank you. <laughs> what about Buck, Mama? We'll start with Adam, for a change. George? <clears throat> Milo. Usaka Tomilo. Celine Andarko. Andarko Celine. Suyebo Suk Akaka. Rado. Salad mat? Pa, oh, yeah, sure. Hmm. Yeah. It's a good week. Um, what exactly was that? Can I tell? Yeah. It's a remembrance of Andarco and Selene, a male and female who lived a long time ago and sacrificed themselves to save millions. We try to live by their example. We touch our fingers to each of our two hearts, then reverse them to show that the male and female are interchangeable. We touch our heads to bring their purity and goodness within us. Speaking of purity and goodness, English, please, Buck. 
This is the man I work with, Matthew Sykes. Hey. Yeah, hi. No meat? Um, not tonight. We invited Matt over tonight because of how he stood up for Emily yesterday. And to also thank him for how kind he has been to me since we started working together. Plaza key. Plaza key? Anna. Pa Chris. Excuse me. Suze, why don't you tell Matthew about your classes at SC? Don't you just love teenagers? Yeah, most of them act like me. Are you uh, studying sculpture at SC? Yes, and English Lit. And astronomy, and architecture. She's got more homework than me, Em. A renaissance woman. Well, there's just so much new to learn. A more an undecided woman. For the proud daughter. What was the reason for that? No, not Doc Scott. Anyway. To watch you suck up to him like that, Dad. He's such a sellout, buying in all this yuppie stuff. It's better than being slaves. We still are slaves. I mean, you know how much smarter we are than turds? Yes. So why stroke them? We're different, Buck. It's written all over us. There's a natural resentment against us. So we have to be better, more, more patient, just to be accepted as even... That's a lot of junk, Dad. We should be able to be who we are without the brown nosing. It takes time. But look at the progress already. We're, we're in a better neighborhood. You know, half the people don't even talk to us. Change happens slowly. But a lot of newcomers are already crossing over because of their skill or their intelligence. Look at uh, Chuck Winslow. He just signed with the Dodgers. Just PR, man. No. It's because he's a great hitter. And how about Martine Bennett of the L.A. City Council? Right. But does she get to vote? If Proposition 16 passes, she will. We all will. Come on, Dad. Have you seen the opinion polls? <laughs> yes, and there's almost a 50-50 chance. A lot of humans want us to vote. Yeah, well, I haven't met any of them. Well, maybe you're not looking in the right places. Come on down and have dinner with us, will you? I'm really not hungry. With Algen took me two foot grown, Rofebni and Vasme. Who's so at the cult? These chumas are not the dog. God would kill it. No, not Wask. Sinka? Why do you think that factory smelt like our spacecraft? I don't know. But I'd sure like to find out what it has to do with Tugs' death. Was Matt impressed that you could smell things he couldn't? Yeah, more annoyed, I think. Spends a lot of time annoyed. You know Diane, the woman who brought us that plant I'm trying not to kill? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw her in the market today. She was amazed that I could smell and see the pesticides on the produce. Made me promise to pick out all her fruit from now on. Of course, the produce manager wasn't too pleased. I heard him whisper at a head like an overripe crunch on melon. Well. Hmm. You know, I don't think they realize how acute our senses are. No, they don't. Thanks for having Matt over. You're welcome. You made him feel very comfortable. Would you like me to make you feel comfortable? Mm -hmm. Well. Well? I saw you lying here with your back exposed. Uh. Waiting for a little hummer? <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking about that X-rated video we rented. <laughs> oh, do you remember how funny some of their foreplay rituals seemed? Do you remember the one where... You know what they say. No, what do they say? <laughs> Fifty bucks mm. I lost on the cowboys, man. Can't factor the turnovers, Matt. Nobody's perfect. Isn't that the laundry man burns on at the morgue? Excuse me, young man! Young man! Hey, hey, hold it! to back me up. I did. Oh. Anticipated his exit. He's in custody. What if I needed you inside? Well, I would have come right in. It's not the damn point. He's clean. Oh. Matt, I am sorry if you did so much running and I didn't. And I am sorry the cowboys lost. Oh. All right, where's the stiff? Mira, you know about another thing. Don't give me that! Okay, man, calm down. I swear to God, I don't know what you're talking about. We already have your partner. Yeah. Yeah, and he's saying it was all your idea. That's bull, man. That guy paid us both. What guy? One of them, man. A newcomer paid you? Would you yeah. recognize him? Come on, they all look alike. What did he want with it? I don't know, man. You clubbed the reporter, huh? Oh, huh? I swear it wasn't me. He's telling the truth. What do you mean? Well, he's right-handed. The angle of the blow on Mr. Burns most probably came from a left hand. Yes, it was a slag that hit him, man. The one who paid you? No, how different. He was smaller, all right? Where is the body? All right, come on. If I tell you guys, you guys are gonna give me a break? Oh, yeah, sure. And if you don't, I'm gonna take you up and I'm gonna throw you off the roof. No, no, Matt, no, please. No, 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 I, no, no he's no, done. No, 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 I covered for you the last time. <laughs> All right, hold on, okay, okay, okay. Fit some figure all, man. It's a vacant lot. I don't get it. Show me. That one. You see, you have to carry the two up to there. Now you just hold it. And then you multiply the two. Mm -hmm. Six. And add the two. Eight. Yeah. Gee, thanks. Yeah. Wow, you're in the gifted book already? Talk to sponge heads and your hair will fall out. Shut up, Mark. He's a jerk. Thanks for the help. Sure. For. Nothing over there either. You know, you played it real smooth back there. Fell right in with my pattern. It's like Tugs used to. <laughs> Felt good. We got some nice stuff out of him. I appreciate the compliment. Yeah, but there's something I gotta talk to you about. Dobbs just said you paid the 50 that I dropped on the Cowboys. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I felt responsible for that. Yeah, well, you didn't stick a gun to my head. I lose, I pay. Okay? Sure. All right? Yes. You're a funny guy, George. Do you really think so? I, I've been trying to improve my sense of humor. <laughs> no, 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 no. Humor, humor is what the I hardest thing to translate, though. I, I did hear a new joke, though. <clears throat> oh, yeah? Yes. A man came up to me and asked, which way is it to Carnegie Hall? And I said, practice. <laughs> it's a funny joke. <laughs> Uh, do you understand? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's close, George. It's, it's real close. You know, it might be a smidge more effective if you said, how do you get to Carnegie Hall? No. Trust me. How, how do, do you, you get, get to Carnegie? Carnegie? That's it. Keep working it. You'll be ready to take it on the road real soon. Unit 7, <laughs> request for detective unit 2211 4. 10-4. You, uh, want to drive? Oh, sure. Oh, thank you, Matt. Sure. Hey, Moxie. Moxie. John Joe? John Joe? John Joe. 
成就了。But if Tug suspected something unlawful going on in that building, why didn't he tell you about it? I don't know. Unless he didn't have time or... Hey, Puente. Yeah, old factory Puente. building at 26th and Fig. Abandoned for about a year. Why? Uh, just curious. Look, check this out. I left it where we found it because it looked kind of peculiar. Yeah, what do you make of that? Beats the hell out of me. Hmm. Looks like skin. Huh? Human skin? No. Skin from one of us. What? <laughs> yeah, we got that old slag good tonight, do we? No, you should have seen it, man. Johnny threw a little salt water on this slag and he started to fizz. <laughs> Salt water burns them like acid. You <laughs> must have run all the way back to Slag Town. <laughs> well, looky here. Must be a mirage. Not supposed to be no slags around here. Excuse me. Ain't no excuse for you. That's my building. Would you just... That's your mistake. That's what it is. What do you fancy clothes for a slag? Don't you touch me. Well, he just wants to be neighborly. Yeah, get to know you real good. Turn into slack lover sights. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you're no model of neatness either. Particularly at present. How you doing? I'm shakier now. I always knew there were people like that in this world, but it was just hard to believe. Why? Down at the medical center where I work, everyone is treated with respect. Human or newcomer, it doesn't matter. You're valued for what's in your head, not the shape of it. Listen, there's some sodas in the fridge. Help yourself. Oh, no, I, I, I should be. Will you grab me a diet something, huh? How'd you get to be a cop? Um, spent so much time in jail as a kid. It seemed like home. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Ran with a gang. This one old cop got so tired of busting me, uh... Got me into the Police Athletic League. Channeled my uh, antisocial aggressiveness into sports. So you're uh, not antisocial anymore? Just to my ex-wife. Been divorced long? About a year. Your idea or hers? Mine, mine. It was time, you know. Uh, we got married too young. Had our daughter 20 minutes later. Sort of, sort of missed our adolescence. Thank God, no dead beavers. No, I'm an herbivore. A vegetarian. <laughs> With good ears. <laughs> What's this? Um, you'd call it something like a, a focal point. It's part of my religion. Well, like Andarco and Saline? You know about the Solanus? No, mine's different. You'd say it's more um, Eastern, internal. You mean you all have different religions? Well, of course, why not? <laughs> Good, Sykes. Oh, wow. Weird as it is for us to have you here, it must be really strange for you, huh? Did you ever notice any distinctive smell in the air on a ship? What do you mean? I don't know, just anything different from the ordinary air. That spectacular nose ears. Well, I did notice that the air was different once we got off the ship, but I think that was just the smog. <laughs> Why do you ask? I was just curious. 
You know, it's always been the most curious to me. I mean, here's this ship with over a quarter million slaves, right? And it never gets to where it's supposed to. I mean, <laughs> didn't anybody ever notice? You'd think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> Damn right. And aren't they ever going to come looking? Maybe they will. They told me they busted you, man. No way. Down those pigs. Look, we better watch out, man. They know that we took the stiff. Did you tell them where we dumped it? Yeah, but it was gone. I need some bail money, all right, man? Yeah, yeah, don't, don't panic. All right, well, hurry up. I mean, the tanky with a bunch of slacks, man. All right? Hey, what's going down, Lightning? We're re replacing the uh, CO2 fire extinguishers. Oh, yeah. Captain yeah. Grazer. Now, uh, you guys got a problem with CO2, don't you? Just when it's concentrated. Yeah, slavery. That's what most of the files are about. I haven't got through it all yet. There's a mountain of stuff. Tux's great grandfather was a slave. He was always studying about it. <sighs> so, when our slave ship landed, it gave him a first hand opportunity? I guess so. But how does that tie into the abandoned plant in his notes? How exactly did he die? We spotted a robbery in progress. They offed the shopkeeper, and they opened up on us. Tugs ducked behind a car, pulled the guy out. Hi there, sir. How are you? You mind uh, stepping out here for a second? We got a bit of trouble. Yeah, thank you. And the slack. The newcomer inside switched artillery. I was pinned down. Couldn't give him cover. Some partner, huh? I'm sure you did the best you could. Yeah. Anyway, Tugs ran out of cover. Back up against the car. The last show went right through him. Awful. Did you actually see it? No. By the time I got to him, it was over. I'm really very sorry. Yeah. And the autopsy showed that he died from that wound. What? Was there an autopsy? He had a three-inch hole in his chest. You think he died of an ingrown toenail? I'm sorry. Uh, Sykes, uh, that stuff you found was slag skin, and uh, my trusty assistant, Step and Fetch, it verified it himself. What about that slimy stuff from the laundry truck? That's yeah, pretty weird crap, but we are working on it. Did you do an autopsy on Sergeant Tuckles? What? Did you do an autopsy on Sergeant Tuggles? Hey, got a roll on 602. They want you there, too. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, it's nice to see another head like mine. I didn't know anybody else lived around here but us. You live around here? Yeah, third house up on the right. Oh, well, I don't. Um... Miranda, get on up here, girl. I suppose you're going to tell me the bus was late again. Yes, ma'am. Never mind, just get inside and get to work. And what did I tell you about not bringing your friends along? Oh, I... You get along, Missy. You're probably late for your job, too. What do we got? Another lovely. Ew, just like the vagrant. No, it doesn't look the same. What is that smell? Formic acid. He's a. He's right. Now, these aren't infectious sores like that bum had. They're acid burns. That's what killed her. Never heard of formic acid, would you? Formic, formica dye, Latin for ant. It's uh, it's found in ants, yeah, and a few other insects as well. Anybody see anything? 
Oh, yeah. I only seen bits and pieces of it in the shadows, but it was like something out of a nightmare. What? Excuse me. Black, part shiny, about seven or eight feet tall, with pincer kind of things on its face, and six arms. Oh, come on. It did not have six arms. Thank you. No. It only had four. And it wasn't all shiny either. Parts of it seemed sort of bristly like. All right. Let's fan out, cover this whole area inch by inch. Puente, let's get a couple more units in here. Come on. The real danger, I'm telling you. Yes, you said that again Don't and again, done. Mrs. Beck, right. but if you'll forgive me, it sounds a little hysterical. It's what not I... hysterical. <laughs> what we purists stand for is very ah. simple <laughs> and very wholesome. Oh. We don't want our kids polluted by their kind. And you'll use no. force if necessary? We are committed to using whatever means necessary. All right. He's stuck. Yes. All right, but Dr. Hurwitz, is there yes. any sort of medical basis for yeah. Mrs. Brett's claim that the newcomers could be carrying a virus that makes AIDS look like chicken pox? Uh, we have no evidence that such a virus exists. But it could exist? Well, there are those of us who argued that the quarantine period may not have been sufficiently yeah, long yeah. enough to thoroughly isolate extraterrestrial bacteria, but we were overruled. So, so, so such a virus could exist. That's yeah. exactly why we should never have let the damned aliens out. And now this elitist conspiracy to give them the vote. Can we please stick to the subject we agreed upon? Don't to you the tell beginning? me what to stick to, you filthy slag. Excuse yeah. me, if we can't stick to... Just sit the hell back down there, boy. Wait a minute, now we want some straight answers, and we want now. Sit down. Sit down. And once again, the two newest additions to the Warriors proved that their skills could leave their opponents in the dust. Chip Weston and Nicholas Nickleby led their team to a staggering 113-75 to upset over Southwestern. Yeah. Coach Jim Harris to quip that other teams ought to be allowed to play with seven seven men against UCN. I talked to the two newcomers after the game. But those tails. Is there a temptation to let down a little? Are you kidding? The coach would be out there wiping up the floor with us. All the guys just wanted to It's a great team. Hey, Em. I got something out of the stuff you used for Drama Club. I thought it might make you feel better. I'm not sure. Oh, go on. Try it. How do you put it on? Like this. What do you think? Well, I think it's hysterical. Like something came out of the skin and dragged itself away. What the hell happened here, George? George, this, this looks like, like there was some kind of damn metamorphosis. What's going on here, George? I don't know what to say. I've never seen anything like it. You haven't. You haven't. <laughs> Look at that skin. That, that, that's one of you. Or was. What was inside it, George? I don't know, Matt. Hey, level with me. What was inside it? Is the same thing inside all, all, all the newcomers? Huh? Good God. Is the same thing inside of you, George? Is it? How can it be? I don't know. You tell me. Matt. Tell me, you damn slack! You're probably late for your job, too. Listen, we've got to talk. 
Emmy had another rough day. Uh. And Buck's school called. He's never been there. George! George, wait! I want us to talk to him together! George! Come on. What? 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 Now listen to me, you little ingrate slag. I've been working my tail off to give you a better life so you don't have to live like a slave. And I'll be damned if I'm going to let you blow your chances. Are you listening to me? Yeah, Dad. Yeah, Are you sure. listening to yeah, me? Yeah, Dad. I am. All right. If I catch you ditching any more school or running around with any of those smart-ass hoods, I'll have your head in a bucket. You got that? Yeah, Dad. Sure. You got that? Yeah. Hey, Mox. What? You don't want to hear it. You got something to say, you say it. Well, Dad, I just think you're dumping on me because all that crap you ate at your job. I'm dumping on you because you're turning into a little screw-up slag who's ditching school. Oh. Because crap rolls downhill. Dad! Go on, Dad. But just remember, I didn't, like, ask you to move here. And I didn't, like, ask you to sell your soul to the dirt. I seen it. Seen what? Who is this? The thing that crawled out of the skin. I seen it. Where? Can you pay me? Yeah, if it really is something. Oh, it's something, all right. But you better hurry. Where are you? First in Santa Fe, down by the bridge. But you better hurry. <laughs> Chilana Bray. Queen? Sik Ramna. Kasik von Bonn. Kitin vos plaisk. No splask. Nakrus fakta canolic twig sola. Sila Chilana. Kifas nefis. Nagnutali sik vot. Tiga la ros freka. Who is it? Me, Sykes. You got a sec? Sure. What is it? What does this one mean? Please, Anson. Tugs heard it from some view. Said it frightened them? Please, Anson. What is this paper? My partner was working on this before he got killed. He was always interested in slavery. He used to say he was going to write a book someday. I guess he got to talking to some of you about be enslaved. He couldn't understand why you were all so... There it is. One of the most curious aspects of newcomers' slavery was their apparent submissiveness. Yes, we were. Completely submissive. Why? We just were. Since then, I've often wondered myself. I can't imagine being that way now. I can't imagine being that way at all. But none of them remembers any example of revolt among the slaves, such as Spartacus among the Romans or Nat Turner in America. What's more, none of them could remember anyone to revolt against. Is that right? Yes. So who ran the ship? Who were you slaves for? We never saw anyone but ourselves. We never found out who the ones were flying your ship because it blew up so soon after it got here. Of course, whoever was in charge could have just blended in with the rest of you. If they looked like us, yes. So what about this word? It's a very old word. Meaning? Well, it's difficult to translate. Tugs was right. You are frightened of it. Guess we are. It's strange. It's a very deep fear. It's like a child being frightened of the dark. Why? I don't know. I really don't. It's, it's almost subconscious. So what does it mean? Well, there are really two meanings. One would be like Lord over or seeing over. Overseer? That's what they called the men who kept the slaves in line back in the 1800s. 
You said there were two meanings. What was the other? Demon. In there? Yeah. Must have gone back inside. I seen it around the outside. It was dragging something. Dragging what? I don't know. It might have been a body. How long ago? It was just before I... <laughs> That's all you saw. <laughs> That's enough, don't you think? You ever find that other guy? No, not yet. Yeah. Great photos, huh? Oh, yeah. You ever seen anything like that? I haven't. Mr. Burns, I'd like you to consider asking your publisher not to print these. There's something dangerous out there, pal. The public's got a right to know. I just think until we... Forget it. We already got a special edition hitting the streets right now, and it's already on the wires. Matt. I have an appointment this morning. I'll be back at the station shortly. Better watch out for him, man. We better watch out for all of them. And since the release of these photos, reactions have run from humorous skepticism to outright fear. Opinion polls show a major drop in those who are for Proposition 16, which would give a new species, the newcomers, the right to vote. Critics of newcomers have been very outspoken. We have every reason to be frightened. We haven't encountered their kind before, and we have yet to know how different they may be from us. Hi. Oh, hi. Um, I wanted to bring you these. They're from the plant that you brought the other day. Oh, great. Thanks. I was really pleased. I usually have sort of a, a black thumb. I just look at a plant and it keels so... over. I'm sorry. I left someone hanging on the phone. Oh, uh... Well, sure. Thanks again. Yeah. Right down this way. Getting a cold, huh? Yes. Just got over one. Ain't one thing, it's another. You see that bug story they're laying on us? What a load. Here it is. Poor guy. What was his name? Sergeant Tuggles. Yeah. Tugs. Didn't have a chance. Just look at them holes. One down there is where he bought it. You now you're lucky it's still here. Order came down to scrap it a week ago. I've just been too busy. Who signed the order? Don't know. I have to track it down. Would you? Sure. You take care of that cold. Yeah. Matt. Another report of slag bashing. Do you mind? Hey, what can I tell you? You can tell me it's an Lieutenant assault. Lieutenant Sykes, is this what you had in mind? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect. Hey, try these on. What's this for? Something matter with your eyes? What is this for? Taking you to a dress-up affair tonight. I want you to fit in. <laughs> if that's possible. What's wrong with your eyes? I have a cold. What are you talking about? When you have a cold, you have a runny nose, you sneeze. We blink. <laughs> Come on, give me a break. <laughs> Hate to see what happens when they're constipated. <laughs> when we get constipated, Easy. we go into cataleptic fits. We usually grab the nearest human, particularly if he's a smart-ass cop, and we throw him out the window. I can't help being a newcomer any more than you can help having a skull full of manure. So let's try to overlook each other's peculiarities, shall we? What's this? found it inside the car Tugs was hiding behind. What? It came from in front, not from behind. I think it's the bullet that killed him. Too bad they weren't aiming at you. What a kidder, huh? <laughs> 
the problem. Just what happens when you promote him, Captain. You get uppity. Wow, this is a brick stash. Unti You picked the wrong place to hunker, Slags. How about a little salt water, sponge here? <laughs> Jelana, please. I assure you it's a matter of great importance or I never would have come. Please put the past behind us. It's truly a matter of life or death. Most probably death. Maybe the girl, uh, Jill? Yeah. Maybe she was trying to help you before when she gave you the wake. But then she left for the rest of them, Daddy. Yes, and that hurts, I know. I feel badly at work sometimes. I get a little bit angrier than I should. It's going to take some time. But it'll... It'll change, you'll see. Uh, do you have much homework? A little, about Indians. Oh, I want to hear about that. Hey, Mom, how's it going? About like usual. <sighs> oh, this check. This gunk you've got all over. I don't know. Slime. So, Dad, 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 you down in a sec, okay? Suits, we've really both got to get George. together. George! It's hard for me sometimes at SC, but at least I'm older. Does everyone treat you so badly? No, of course not. And those that do, I can deal with. But Emily's only nine years old, George. I hate it when people treat her badly. Uh, so do I, Sue. So do I. <laughs> George, nothing is worth this. I don't want my kids to go through this anymore. Do you hear me? I want to go back. I'd rather live in that slag town hovel for the rest of my life. And what about their lives and their children's it's lives? It's not worth it. Not to me. Not for my kids. Hey, Matt. 
George just called. He says he won't be in until later. Yeah, I figured. He told me what happened. Can you believe what they did to his house? Yeah, I can. God. I mean, I thought I'd been through some really rotten stuff. You know what it's like growing up a poor Latina near a preppy neighborhood? Hey, Chiquita, want a banana? Nice. Yeah, I was always being hassled. But these purists, I mean, they should be strung up. After a fair trial, of course. Of course. Oh, hey, Sykes. You have fun playing homeless last night? Oh, yeah. Almost as much fun as playing captain. Hey, I'm sorry they promoted me and not you, OK? So what about this insect thing? You and George see any bugs last night? No, and I was out on my own. He had a problem at home. No, it sounded like you two had a problem here yesterday. Is that what this is about? No. I want an autopsy on Tugs. What? He's dead and buried. They never did an autopsy on him. Come on. You saw him. And so did I. What's, uh... What's an autopsy going to show? Can I order one? Captain Grazer. Sure. Thanks. I'd like to see the principal. You must be Emily's mother. How'd you guess? Oh, we all know which one she is. Can I tell Mr. Stevens what you want to see him about? Uh, withdrawing my daughter. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, he's in a meeting right now, if you'd like to wait. Yes, I would. Can I talk to you a minute? <laughs> I was just thinking when it used to be three kinds of restrooms. Three? Men, women, and colored. Really? old enough to have seen it. But things do change. They really do change if you want them too badly enough. I remember this old black woman, Miss Jane Pittman. She used to pass a particular water fountain every day, a white folks fountain. You know what she did one day? She walked right up to it and took a drink. <laughs> but Lord, old hell broke loose when she did. A nigger took a drink out of the white fountain. A nigger done this. A nigger done that. One became mayor of Los Angeles. One became mayor of Atlanta. Atlanta. And one ran for president. One will be president someday. But it's hard to take that first drink. Take lots of courage to be like Miss Jane. At least they weren't afraid she'd turn into an insect. Oh, honey, I can show you people today who still think black people have rabbit blood and Jewish people have horns. But you don't look like no cockroach to me. Take a drink. Late date? Oh, I'm working undercover. Listen, Bat, I really need to trust you. Can I? What? You stole them out of the morgue? You and what's his name, Amos and Andy? We had to. What the hell are you talking about? You can't just... We were afraid he might be highly contagious. With what? Bolanicus. It attacks the skin surface, and then it attacks the neurological system. In our people, the disease can be dormant for a very long time. But in your people, it's obviously more virulent. You guys have a lot of it? We haven't seen it for decades, much like your smallpox. Until your people placed us in quarantine, the sweltering proximity, the poor sanitation. The... Why the hell didn't you go to the corner about it? Don't you think that we have enough prejudice against us already? Romna, please. Now, they may have made a mistake. That's why I brought you here. They were just trying to handle it quickly and quietly. We're already working on a vaccine, but I needed your opinion on how to proceed. We gotta get somebody down here right away from the Center for Disease Control. Listen, pal. Ramna, they're scientists just like us. They may look different, but inside they feel the same way we do. 
What else? Let's start with that. But level with me. Does this stuff turn you guys into insects? Oh, for Ann Darko's sake. Of course not. Matt, I understand your fear. We were bred to adapt and evolve quickly. But I just can't imagine how that insect creature could have come from one of us. I hate the way these clothes smell. Yeah, but maybe the smell will attract that insect thing. Hmm. All right. So Tux is doing research on why you all were such submissive slaves. Here's about these overseers who may have been in charge of you. Gets an address, uh, some plant owned by a slimeball underworld type. Yes, which smelled like the, the inside of our spacecraft. Right. Somebody kills him and makes him look like he died in action. Maybe. Did they exhume his body? Yeah, autopsy tonight. Let's go down this alley. No, there's nothing down there. It's pitch black down there. How can... You see as well as you smell? Yes. Let's try over there. All right, but listen, you gotta shuffle, all right? Shuffle. Yes. doing here? My mom went out to one of her stupid purist meetings. And I wanted to say I'm sorry. You made me put on that wig just so they all could laugh at me. No, really. I thought it might make you feel better. More like one of us, you know? But it just didn't work. Yeah, it was a dumb idea. I can't be something I'm not. Well, anyway, I just wanted you to know I felt bad. Thanks. My mom doesn't want me to play with you. Yeah. Okay. But I want to. We could play at your house or in the park. She wouldn't have to know, if you want. You're not blinking so much. The cold's better, huh? Yes, thank you. Good. So who sent down the order to have the car scrapped? Captain Grazer? Yes. What? Formic acid. This is 13. We've got a target in the factory yard, 1200 Alameda. Send back up an air tent. Come on, we're gonna lose it. Like hell? Alkali. It'll cut the acid. What? Is that a piece of it? Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch! Matt! Matt! Velcro! What? My arm! All right, let me up, Kevin. Let me up! Killing you, coach! You get to use their skin, you son of a bitch! 
Stop fighting or die. All right. All right, don't shoot. Bernie? Bernie, are you here? Answer. Answer him. Right. Over here. What the hell happened? You're under arrest. Did you hear me? Walk this way. Leader of the purists. Well, Mr. Purist, you have won the right to remain silent. You choose to give up that right. Everything you say anything, can. Anything you say can. Anything, anything, anything you say. Thanks. More important than exposing the hoax about the bug is that we get to nail these guys. <laughs> Killing newcomers just to make it look like something crawled out of their skin. <sighs> what a sick bunch of... Take a look at this. What? Autopsy report on Tux. In addition to the major wounds sustained through the back, there was another... There was another much smaller entrance wound through the chest, piercing the heart, and then exiting the back. Made by the bullet you found. Full metal steel jacket, 308 caliber. That's what the SWAT teams use. Yes. She may have been assassinated by a police weapon. No witnesses. Where are the damn witnesses when you need them? Maybe there was one. What? Who? Didn't you say Tugs pulled someone out of that car just before he got killed? Yeah, that's right, he did. Let's find him. George? Mm hmm I've decided to let Emily stay in this school for a little while longer anyway. You're smiling, aren't you? Yes. Well, I might change my mind again tomorrow, so don't press me. Oh, I won't. You must be pretty happy with yourself after last night. Uh, just to know that creature wasn't real and there's nothing seriously wrong. Well, I'm proud. Excuse me, Sergeant. Yeah, what do you want, Lightning? Um, I didn't do too great a job, but, uh, here. If there's still a few chips, I, I couldn't find them all, but... Yeah. It's fine. Did a good job. Do you really think so? Yeah. Look at... Is new? Thanks a lot. You're welcome, and I, I will try to be more careful. Damn it. Albert. Yes, yes Sergeant. Thanks, man. You're welcome. Man. <laughs> Are you a newcomer? This the guy? Ronald Ketnis. This is my part. Matt Sykes. Uh -huh. You're the one that uh, Tugs pulled out of the car just before he got killed? Yeah. Did you see who shot him? Yeah, I guess so. You guess so? You saw someone on a rooftop, thought he was working with you and Tugs. Why? It was a cop. I, th I thought he was aiming way too low, you know, but... And then he was gone before all the other shooting was over. Now, why didn't you say anything before? It, it wasn't until he told me what happened I put it all together. He's going through the files now, trying to make the face. 
What? Another cold? No, I just hate the smell of cigars. I was a cop, I was a guard at the women's prison in Chino. You can't imagine the kinds of things that go on there. What women would do to other women, particularly if they found out that a woman was a guard or a cop. The overseers? Yes, I can tell you about the overseers. When they were on a ship, they used a special gas in the atmosphere to keep the slaves submissive. And when the ship crashed, they snuck away among the slaves. They found some underworld connections to manufacture the gas to use on whoever they wanted to control. I found out they were making it in that factory on my beat. And I went on the take. To keep it quiet and to keep others away, they paid me a lot. A lot. Tug's research led him to figure out the truth about them and me. He gave me 24 hours to give myself up. But I had seen Chino, Matt, and I knew what they would do to me in there. I couldn't go in there, Matt. Why didn't you let me die? Why didn't you let me die? And since the discovery that the insect-like creature was merely a hoax concocted by radical purists, the opinion polls have swung back the other way, showing about 54% of the population now willing to pass Proposition 16, giving newcomers the right to vote. Doctors at Queen of Angels Hospital this morning were still keeping a close eye on that 16-year-old black youth who was wounded in a gang-related shooting yesterday. The boy remains on the critical list. Authorities are still looking for his assailant, believed to be a member of a rival newcomer gang. On Wall Street at this hour, the Dow Jones is up six points in active trading. You could have used the word partner. What? At the station with that Katniss guy, you could have told him I was your partner. Are you sure? Yeah. On another thing. Sorry I called you a slag, huh? Just sorry about the manure line. Speaking of manure, where do you want to have lunch? Beats the hell out of me. Actually, there's this little place on the east side I've been meaning to try. It serves a really nice ring-tailed sloth. Yeah. 